The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Wednesday presented certificates of return to the Adama governor-elect, Amadou Fintiri, and other National Assembly members-elect in the just-concluded April 18th supplementary elections. Certificates was presented to the elected governor and national lawmakers at the INEC headquarters in Abuja on Tuesday. In his acceptance speech, Governor Amadou Fintiri applauded the efforts of INEC for making sure that democracy is being protected. Fintiri pledged to prosecute the resident electoral commissioner that announced the fake results alongside the security operatives. With all of us, the military yesterday had to be the one to protect our democracy. I think it's unfortunate. But anyway, it is over. What is expected has been done, and democracy has been deepened. Everybody is happy. The only thing I will say is I celebrate Nigerians who stood by us, who stood by the truth, who stood for democracy, including those abroad. Some of the lawmakers elect, in an interview with newsmen after receiving their certificates, commended INEC describing their success as victory for democracy. The majority leader of the House of Representatives, Al Hassan Dogua, who is member elect for Dogua to do Wada federal constituency election in Kano State, described his victory as exceptional. I have gone through a lot of other election processes uh, right from 1992, but I would like to be very candid to say that this one was exceptionally different. We went through a lot of predicaments, names calling, a lot of uh, that were of course quite to a huge, in, in a usual in a usual uh, But putting all things together, I want to say that we we are grateful to God and grateful to the people who have extended once again the mandate in my own hands to continue to represent them in the business of legislation in the National Assembly. People will say. Dogua said that he believed INEC secured a pass mark for the 2023 general elections, but still have a lot of areas to improve upon. Also speaking, Bashi Gurua, House of Representative member elect Gadangurungi Federal Constituency Sokoto, described his victory as a tough battle against a ranking lawmaker who has been in the House for 16 years. Well, uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, it, 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 it is not our own effort, it's God. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we thank God for this victory. But uh, it is quite a, a tough battle uh, for me, contesting against a, a four term members, uh, spending 16 years in the National Assembly. A well uh, known person, Musa Sertian Adar, I think is a very uh, tough battle which I have fought gallantly. So Alhamdulillah, uh, we cannot say anything but glory to God, Alhamdulillah for that. Uh, of course, we are young people. I'm just 33 years old. We have a lot of passion to the young people across the country. Uh, as an activist, uh, I travel across Nigeria. I virtually know the problem of Nigerian youth. We are going to foot forward to make sure that things are, are, are getting all right for Nigerian youth.